Ephesians 2, 14, 16. For he himself is our peace, who has made us both one and has broken down in the flesh the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace, and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, thereby killing the hostility. I think it's fair to say that we live in such a divided society and that division is evident in believers and in churches and in those that, that profess uh, that, that Christ is their savior. Paul is talking, uh, he's writing to a church in Ephesus that is primarily Gentiles, but is in a population where there, is, there, there are many Jewish uh, people in that region. And so he's addressing this divide that existed culturally but when there is a divide that exists culturally, it also exists spiritually, okay? Spiritually and mentally, uh, because if we allow the differences that we see become a bias or prejudice that we have against other people, we have allowed those differences to become division in our mind, our soul, our heart, and that always comes out through the actions and words of our lives. And I just want to look at this first uh, kind of response that Paul has after he's talking about this division. He says, talking about Christ, for he himself is our peace. Listen, we've all been either hurt uh, or we have been the ones that have hurt regarding presuppositions that we have had about others uh, regarding differences or that we know they have had about us. And, and if we've ever found ourselves on the wrong side of that, wittingly or unwittingly, uh, then we need to be the first to acknowledge and recognize that and say, God, you are my peace. Christ, you are my peace. And if you've ever been hurt, then you need to find your peace and healing in him as well, because he is our peace. And something that I was just thinking about, you know, especially for those who are believers, there should never be a moment when we are given over to the evils of bias or prejudice, especially citing reasons that are contrary or contradictory to the word of God, where we then begin exhibiting works of the flesh which Galatians 5, 19 to 21 also includes rage, anger, dissension, rather than the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. We need to allow God to be the peace that heals, unites, restores, and communicates to the world that those who say they love the Lord, their God, with all their hearts, that they also love their neighbors as themselves.